Hi, I'm Jakub, and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, to replace the stock bezel, which is the metal plate that you can see here with the yellow printing on. It's a metal plate that's stuck down into this recess, into this plastic housing. So I've already opened my calculator. I'll put this one out the way, and um, we have to we have to consider how to get this plate out of this hole. So a lot of um, uh, some some people have said that that they that theirs come off very easily. Um, I've heard I've heard. Um, I've heard rumors that and I experienced myself that uh, some of them are really stuck down well. So chances that you can remove this plate without bending it is slim. Um, you can possibly get away with a, with a slight bend and um, they can, you can possibly reuse it. But if you go this route, you can assume that you're going to damage your, your, um, your metal plate. You've got to be very careful when you do this because you don't want to damage any of these plastic keys. They are not replaceable. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to see if I can get a, a small screwdriver um, through those those holes over there. Uh, yeah, you're going to see if I can get the corner lifted away so that I can I can get a a toothpick or something into this side and then start just, just pry, prying it open. In that prying process you, you are likely to, 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 to bend it when you're trying to take it away. But it is a, a fairly malleable um, metal so you can probably bend it back. But nevertheless, take, take the message that um, if you do this, that this, this is a one-way street. So. Um, I'm going to see how tight this one is. It's uh, going to be very, very careful if, you, if you're going through these apertures. The screwdriver size will certainly break the, the, the piece of plastic there. So it is, it is, a, it is a tight, it is a tight um, maneuver. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it down flat here so that it only can move a millimeter down there so I can't accidentally just sort of let it run. And I can see that they that I'm not sure I'm not sure if you can see the light playing over there on the plate. But if you press there, I can press it against the table. So it is fairly it is loose. Um, it's not going to be it's not going to be that hard. I don't mind damaging this bit this plate because I don't need it. I do mind damaging the plastic, so I don't want to go there. One, one other way that that, that um, you can you can put some sticky material on here and pull it. You can also try. People have also said that it comes loose when you when you pull too hard on a on a on something that's stuck down there. But I'm first going to see if I can if I can uh, pry it away like this. So. There I can see the hole, so I need to drop down again.
One is really, really tight. Okay, let's see if we can go in this side. Tight, well, well, well put together. And it's fallen back. And it's fallen back. So, but it's it's loose. It's been sticking like crazy. There's a crazy amount of glue on the back. Let's see what kind of kind of bend we got got away with. It's a slight slight bend, but uh, with the with the kind of glue that you can stick it down, there's no hard bend. This is uh, still in very good condition. So if ever I want to put it back for whichever reason, I can. So, yep, I'm going to put this away over there, and now we're going to just going to see if we can get this glue, glue off. So I'm going to pause the video at this point, just to get the glue off. Uh, so now we have the, uh, the glue from the, from the face. <laughs> There's all the glue. There's the lot. And... Um, Congratulations! That was a good job. It's not one one of one of one of those that might have fallen off by itself. Okay. So now what we have is the uh, is our little bezel. So what, before we take off the double-sided tape at the back, I'm, um, again I'm going to take everything off and uh, stick it on properly. 
you can take the strips down. There are five strips. One, two, three, four, five. You can selectively put them down. There's no, there's no need for that for me. So I will be taking all of that off. Let's just fit it there for good measure. So there we go. It's going to sit, it's going to sit nice on there. Okay. And uh, <coughs> let's get the, um, the double sided tape off. So the nail works well. Suppose there are many other tools that might work. Tweezer might be one of them. So con side of having the perforations on the on the uh, Double-sided tape is they don't come off in one shot. I would have liked that because I always put them on tape of everything. Yep, again, I've got a little... There, there's the rest coming. Again, it, again there we go. That's all of them. Great. And that's all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently put them, put it over here without sticking. Oh, oh, oh it's the wrong way around. That might help. So without sticking, I'm just going to lay it in there. And I can see that, look at the corners. Corners are fine. And I think I'm just going to lay it down. There's no reason to, uh, to to try and move it around. It's pretty much straight. And uh, that's it. So let's just start over there and lay it out. assemble the lot but I think the, the mission of this video was to show how to do that this there are other materials available 